COVID-19 has reached nearly every corner of this country except one. None of it reported what it thought was its first positive case for COVID-19 two weeks ago, but it turns out that was a false positive. So none of it still has had no cases of the coronavirus. Joining us this morning to talk about life in the territory is the mayor of Iqaluit, Kenny Bell. Good to have you with us, Mayor. Hey, good morning, Anne-Marie. Thank you for having me. Uh, describe for us what is life like in Nunavut right now? What restrictions are in place? Uh, well, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty stringent. We have to uh, uh, government quarantine if you're going to travel into the territory. Uh, not very many people know this, but all 25 communities in Nunavut are uh, fly-in only communities. So uh, you have to take a plane uh, or a boat. But of course, we're in the middle of winter, so it's uh, it's uh, the ice is still frozen. So there are government restrictions in place in terms of travel in and out of the territory. What about schools and stores and grocery stores? What does life look like for people who live in the communities? Yeah, so it's pretty much pretty much the same. Our schools are closed. All of our schools are closed, including daycares. Um, the stores are open, but they have um, they have put in some measures of uh, two meter distancing at the tills, uh, including some splash guards for their employees. So very similar to what it would be like here in the GTA, where we have you know several cases. Um, is it frustrating or a sense of optimism for residents who live there that they have no cases yet have the same restrictions in place as the rest of the country? Uh, you know, for sure, the, it's it's a little bit of both. There's two sides of both stories, and uh, some people are um, are happy about the restrictions, and some people aren't. Uh, but we we do know that if we get a case here in Nunavut. Uh, we will overwhelm our system. So we have to make sure that we continue social distancing uh, to when it does come that we, we help plant the curve. What well, sectors would be most vulnerable there? Sorry? Which sectors would be most vulnerable there? Well, you know, we, we already know that half of uh, Nunavut, is, more than half of Nunavut is already food insecure. So that mm -hmm. means there's a lot of poverty here. Um, we have a lack of housing. We're, we're uh, up in the 4,000-ish area of uh, houses that we need uh, in the territory. Um, so we know for sure that there would be a lot of vulnerable people uh, that are living in, uh, you know, less than ideal conditions uh, currently. So uh, it would be mostly the, the, the poverty, of course. Uh, how do residents deal with isolation and social distancing, given the fact that so many are already in communities where there's this natural sense of isolation already because so many of them are flying only? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I, myself, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, uh, other than the fact that I would like to get back to work uh, on a very regular basis. Um, you know, me and my kids have been spending a lot of time learning stuff on the land um, and just enjoying um, you know, including homeschooling, of course, which uh, is is fun for all of us parents. Um, <laughs> but I think uh, you know, Northerners we're we're used to being isolated, and uh, you know that part isn't really the big thing. But we do like to gather, so um, you know, no more than five people gathering at a time is a little bit uh, stringent on us, and it's a little bit hard for all of us. Yeah, I saw one of those gatherings online when everybody was celebrating the tests that. Uh, came back, in fact, negative. I saw the snowmobiles out and the lights being flashed. That's how people were celebrating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, a snowmobile and ATVs are uh, a huge part of our living here. And uh, you can see them, uh, you know, uh, almost every celebration throughout the year, you could see a, a train of uh, uh, skidoos and uh, ATVs going. Mayor Bell, I want to thank you for joining us on your morning. And we're wishing the best for everyone in your communities. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, anytime.